So today in class we're discussing the 1920s. Um, in particular we're discussing mass culture and how it really took off music, dance halls really took off during the 1920s. And so today in class my kids are learning how to do the Charleston, which was a really famous dance during the 1920s. They had a little bit of trouble. I had a little bit of trouble doing the Charleston, but it was a lot of fun learning about the 1920s culture in that way. Um, mass culture is one of the objectives for the 1920s unit. And so we are going to immerse ourselves in culture by trying to learn the Charleston which was a really popular dance here in the 1920s. I like to do a little um, some different things in class. Um, I think that it's a great way to provide them with a different viewpoint on what was going on in the 1920s instead of just lecture PowerPoints and things like that that really helps immerse them into what was going on during that time period. So learning how or having class in a different way versus just lecture and PowerPoint on a continual basis really helps my students fully understand the material. I use the history acronym and so they're provided different activities. They can work at their own pace. Um, they can dive in deeper to the activities, dive in deeper to the standards that way instead of just listening to me lecture. Students tend to zone out after about five to 10 minutes of lecture and so doing activities like learning how to do the Charleston really gets them up and motivated and into the lesson.